Hey there makers, today I'm going to try out these oil markers. They are by Arteza and there are 20 of them, although saying that we have two whites and two blacks, so not quite 20 colours. But let's get them out. Now I've tried acrylic markers before, but I've never tried oil markers. I'm quite intrigued. Should we just... Ah! Oh gosh. So these are all our oil markers. Haha. <laughs> um, so they are bullet tipped. And this is silver. Let's just have a look. So that's, that's the tip that you get with them. Let's see what we can make. Um, I do have a little canvas that I can use, but just to get started, started i think i'm gonna get my sketchbook and we can swatch some right here we go all right let's have a go um let's try this pinky one i'll give it a bit of a shaky shake i don't know how much we need to shake and then as with acrylic markers you have to kind of pump them to start getting paint out. At the moment, this is not doing anything at all. <laughs> Come on. Come on, little muggers. Oh, oh. It's coming. It's coming. Something's happening. Okay, we're there. Ooh. Wow. Look at that. I mean, that is bright. So that was, yeah, neon pink. And that's come out pretty neon, I would say. Wow, so this is the neon yellow, yeah. So what I might do, because um, it's taking quite a long time for the ink to come out, <laughs> so you don't have to sit through all of that, I will speed this video up and you can see all the swatches but you don't have to sit through this. So that is all of the swatching done. So we have um, three metallic colours, copper, silver and gold. We have three neons, but I forgot and put one down here. So we have neon pink, neon yellow and neon red, although it's kind of orangey, but that goes up there. And then we've got two purples. We've got a kind of deep sort of pink. What did they call that? Fuchsia, fuchsia. Um, so that's fuchsia. And then that's red. I mean, the red, I don't know, seems a bit sort of pale uh, and washed out to me, but mm, never mind. And uh, orange. Uh, we've got one yellow, two greens, two blues, a black and a white. With oils, as opposed to acrylics, if you're just generally painting, you can tend to blend better. That's what oils the point of oils is. They take longer to dry, but they blend better. Now, I don't know whether that's the case with markers. Let's have a go at like blending a couple and see what happens. So I'll do a bit of, a bit of purple and let's do it with dark blue. No. no, so you don't, you can't blend them because it just goes, but it does immediately go straight over the top, which is interesting because, yeah, these are all dry. So, I don't know, they seem to be pretty similar to acrylic markers, I would say. So I'm not entirely sure 
whether there's much much difference to it and I don't know how long they'll last because they don't seem very big um, but who knows who knows so let's have a go at drawing something we've got a little canvas I'm not entirely sure what I want to draw <laughs> on here let's get my blues together I'm one of those people got all my neons together yes yes okay what shall we draw I think I might just do something really straightforward because I, I want to do something that uses a lot of colors and because they're quite bright and jolly so I'm thinking of just doing sort of rainbow clouds or something just you know something simple it's not too taxing Start with the gem of the pen colour that we always start with. Ooh, Satisfying. Didn't follow the lines, but oh well. Is anybody else like this where I if I've got a canvas I feel like because I've sort of paid for it and it's a sort of special thing I feel like I need to really know what I'm gonna put on it before I can use it and then I never quite find anything that seems um, good enough <laughs> so, so I never use it ridiculous have we not used yet I mean I haven't used the red I suppose but then that seemed a bit underwhelming but actually that looks better on the canvas than it did in the book Okay, so we've got some base layers down, which is quite good. Some of them are more opaque than others, because like this red and blue, they've gone down really smoothly, and I kind of can't see any streakiness. Whereas these, you can see the streaks. So, I don't know. It seems like a, a slightly mixed sort of bag. Mm, the 
bit wishy-washy. This is pretty mad, isn't it? What a bonkers picture this is. Right, so we'll try dark purple on the pink. bad but again that is breaking up they all kind of break up on the surface so I would say that these aren't quite as good for layering as acrylic markers would be Sure, I should have done that. Thought I'd put a bit of silver in there. That's actually pretty weird. But then, um, now I've done it, I have to see it through and put it on other places because otherwise it will maintain the weirdness. <laughs> uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. I really don't like it. <laughs> oh no. joy of art isn't it sometimes you just gotta go with whatever's happened oh dear I don't like this at all it's got a weird sort of I don't know to me it looks like it's got a weird sort of blue tinge which I'm not enjoying I feel like I'm just sort of Actually making this worse. Okay, so <laughs> I might just wait for that to dry and then I'll put some white and black on in the vain hope that it might rescue it and make it look vaguely better. I don't know whether the white is going to be opaque enough. This is definitely looking a bit better. If this had a, th I feel like I'd like one with a thinner, thinner nib. Um, because then I don't know whether to go in further on the patterns. I feel like I want to, but I feel it would be better with a small nib. But I'm going to go for it anyway. Bad or does it look better? So hard to tell. <laughs> and so now I really did want it to have a little face on.
<laughs> I mean, it's pretty weird, but um, I think maybe, maybe that's where I should stop <laughs> because I don't really know what else to do to it. Hmm. So yeah, what do you think? I mean, the colours are, it is a, a good selection of colours. You get some really bright ones in there. I would say if they are strange for layering because they sort of break up on the surface of each other, which is pretty weird, except some which don't. Hmm, can't explain that. Uh, but certain ones, like the black goes over really smoothly. I ho hopefully you can kind of see that on the screen that that hasn't broken up at all but things like the metallics and the neons and the yellows uh yeah they all all broke up on the surface um and didn't necessarily go down completely uh sort of without streaks um like these sections the red and the blue went down without streaking but there's lots of streaking elsewhere um so anyway, I don't know. They were fun to use though, and they only took like the early part. There was a lot of pumping to do, but once you've done it, I didn't seem to have to pump them again. So yeah, pros and cons, but that's what we've ended up with as our little um as our little play time. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help to support this channel and give the video just a little mini boost. Um, if you have any thoughts about this, please do leave them in the comments down below. Let me know whether you've tried these um, or if you would rather just stick with acrylic markers. Um, and if you would like to subscribe, that would be lovely. Go on, do it, hit the button. And um, I will see you again next time. Thanks for watching.